What is up everyone? I just got something in the mail in one sec. Let me go get it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Blink-182 just sent me my record. Let's see what's inside. You like that? That was pretty cool. Okay, so we got Love the color. Love the color. Love it. Love pink. Look at the back. I love that photo. That's a rad photo. Let's just see the liner says and all that jazz. Ah, this is so nice. Not in, like a huge fan of that logo. I love that the five arrows are back, but I love the original smile. Dude, these images are so sweet. I love that. Such a good photo. Okay, in the right side, you have the lyric sheet. No, this isn't the lyric sheet. This is the credit sheet, which is cool. I always find it interesting to see who co-writes on songs, because I know Blink has been having co-writers the past few albums. Glad Aaron Rubin is on there, which he's Alon's brother, and he's been working with Tra uh, not Travis, Tom. And then Nick Long, he works with Travis a lot. He did a lot of the Machine Gun Kelly stuff. And I think he goes as far back as he toured with Transplants and was like the, the second guitarist. So that type of stuff is cool to me. I don't know anybody else. Here, if I could just put this back. There we go. And this is the lyric sheet. Oh, and this is the sleeve to the to the record. Look at that purple. Hmm. So sexy. I love this contrast. The pink and the black. Woo! Cool. So that's it for that. That's rad. I will definitely be playing that later for sure because everything sounds better on a record, not just because it's analog, but mainly because Spotify and any of the other platforms, they compress the heck out of everything. Which every day listen, you can't really tell, but if you really like start nitpicking, especially like this Blink record, like there's a lot of mixing issues that I think we all have. I just think there's a lot of compression issues on these on Spotify and Apple Music, all those streaming platforms versus a true vinyl record. Anyways, what else did I get? The exclusive box set. Can I open this by myself? No. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna open this like an animal. Okay. And I'm just too lazy to go get a knife, but I think I exerted more energy in doing that. That's so cool. Same thing, just blue. Same image, track listing. Same image on inside as the record. It says one more time up there, and of course it's blue. Not a fan of the blue color, but that's okay. And what's inside? We got the blue shirt with the smiley. How rad is that? And the CD, which I don't even think I own a CD player anymore. To be honest, like, does anybody own a CD player? Like, I own a record player, but I own a CD player. To be fair, I'll oh, listen to it on Spotify. Same exact thing as the vinyl image there. Boom. You know, as a graphic designer, this is cool, but they should have just did exactly what they did for self titled just the smiley face. That would have been rad. What do you guys think? I think that would have been very reminiscent if they did that. Just me. And on the left side is the booklet. Love me some CD booklets. Also, you know what I noticed? Remember in the old days when CDs were so impossible to get open? You had like 85 stickers and just like, you needed like a nuclear bomb to open it. That was so streamless. Anyways, I'm super stoked with this. This looks good. What a great packaging. And to be honest, I wish they put more in that box. Like give me a sticker or something. What am I gonna do with this box? Like maybe I'll keep it, but it's like just a cardboard box. Like make, maybe make the box wooden or something. That's the only gripe I have with this. Love the vinyl, how it looks. Love the pink. 
box I'm not a fan. I'm a fan of these CDs. What would you call this? The non-jewel case? But this cardboard, like, I don't know, give us something better, right? Who's with me? Anyways, that is the unboxing of the new Blink-182 record, both vinyl and CD and the t-shirts. Anyways, let me know what you guys got. Until next time, hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.